Welcome back to more Coral Island. This is Roberto Lionheart of Lionheart Lodge. And uh, looks like today there's a festival. I do like that that pops up to show us. Because otherwise I probably would have forgotten. In all honesty. And we have more quests too. So into the mines we finished. Petrified Giant. We need to explore the Earth Cape, find a way to free the Earth Giant. Okay. And into the ocean, we need to go diving, which is fine. Town rank. So that's heritage, maybe? Oh, yeah. Offering made. Heritage. Okay. And then map. I'm not sure where on the beach this is going to be. Pretty sure they said the beach. And I think 9 a.m. was the start time. I don't know if it's going to be down here or over here. We will watch our map for a, sort of a clue or a hint about that. Okay? But first, we got to watch TV. Or smash it with a sword. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. My name is Jeff Smith and I know a thing or two about farming. I was raised in a farm so I got some tips for you Sprouts. Let me tell you about them. Today I'll tell you about other- oh nope, we already heard this one. Yep. Well that's a- that's a repeat. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny. No more rain? What's going on here? Oh, this one's new. Coral stars. Passion and music bring these five girls together. But can they overcome the harsh world of sea pop? Hello, producers. I will be your representative in this show. Welcome to Coral Stars. Today, five girls will start their fight in the world of sea pop. They will start their voice lessons, memorize choreography, and give their all in stages prepared to test their result practices. No, I'm pretty sure this is the same as last time. Yep, that's the same. Okay, well, nothing new on TV today. I suppose that's alright. Let's move this over to that side just, just because. Oh, that's right. Okay, so... Oh. Hello, hello. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Mm, you setting up shop like right here so I can just break things open there? Just the thought. Word around town is that you've started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. Yeah, we're all about that shaft. Get as deep as we can go free the earth giant. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do me, you might be thinking? Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. <laughs> Fair. To make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you now can craft, courtesy of this blueprint. Thank you. You need five of the same ores to make one bar. You'll also need one charcoal to fire up the furnace. Okay. Five to one ratio. Yep, I think you're all set now. Did he say three bars to upgrade? So 15 ore? I think so. Let's see. All ore, nothing. Craft a furnace. Okay, our new recipes here. A kiln. This processes wood into charcoal, scrap into glass, and stone into glass. Alright. Ground insect scent. I think we read these before. I guess maybe now we can craft them? I don't know. Explosive. Generates a small explosion. Useful for combat. Dangerous. 
furnace, a machine to make metal bars. So we need 20 bronze ore for this, and we need 20 bronze ore for that. This makes charcoal for us, though. Hmm. Well, we don't have a lot of time before the uh, event or party or whatever. So let's actually take care of this first. Yeah. But we need a morel. Morel? Moral? Morel? I don't know. I think it's more L. Like, I need more L's. I could be wrong. It's fluffy and perfectly safe to touch. Cool. Um, no. This one. Alright, let's put these in here. We're going to place this down. And we're going to take out one of those. We should probably keep these on us, so, well, not necessarily this, right, but these. And then, yeah. Let's, actually, let's leave those there and put this over here. And then we did need... for that other offering. Pretty sure we needed a daisy as well. And I remember we needed a carrot and a turnip. And then I think that's it. So we're looking for a carrot and a turnip. Oh, and we need to bring something... Let's go back inside. We need to bring something to that uh, festival. So let's bring a lettuce... No, we're growing potatoes. We can't grow lettuce, so let's let's bring a potato for it. Stop it! I that was me. That wasn't the mouse. I upgraded. Have a new mouse. Can't blame the mouse anymore. <laughs> uh, let's put a wild seed right here. Can we plant it? Yes, we can. I just needed to be closer. Nope. Tried to hold and see hold it down to see if I could water more than just one spot, but nope. Alright, so we should pick up some seeds from town today if possible. There's a turnip and a daisy. Perfect. A peony. Oh, and let's go put that... Uh, okay. Now the question is, can we ta uh, take this back down and move it? I imagine so. Produces two scrap or produces scrap using two trash. Okay. I don't know. Currently, I don't have another. Okay, can we? Oh, okay. So we can put in a bunch and let it run. I like that. Roberto Lionheart, how are you doing? I saw you collapse yesterday. I'm worried about you. Hope you're feeling better soon. And there's a hospital bill behind this letter, but, um... I... Honestly... Have never seen any... Drawings, any anythings. So, I... Sure, there's a hospital bill there. I believe you. Totally. 8.40. That means it's time to go to this festival thing. I have 
no idea if it's... I don't know. I don't know where it is. I think it's on the beach. Okay, I think I'm starting to see how the bug nets work. There was a little blue area in front of my uh, net. So I'm hoping that other nets have a bigger area. Okay. I remember seeing you. What I don't... However, remember seeing is where this festival is supposed to be taking place. Oh! Oh, right! I remember there being something about it, uh, events being up here. Okay, up we go. Why aren't you guys over there? Or are you just gonna magically all appear there? when I get closer. My inventory's full. Already? Huh, can't even pick that up. What's... Oh, right, I know what's all... what all is in my inventory. Alright. On our way, we're gonna look at an errand. She would like a cauliflower. Ten days? That's fine. Let's look at the calendar really quick. Alright, it's Scott and Oliver's birthday in a couple of days. I bet you they're closed because of the uh, festival. Oh, it even says closed on the outside. I'll pretend that I uh, noticed that before going in. It's a good pretendery. They've decorated the town, too. I'll go over there in a minute. Is this, uh... Bonsai! Oh, it's Lily, okay. I'm kind of interested in... getting a bonsai myself. They look like, I don't know, they look like fun. They look interesting. Okay, start the event. Yeah, let's do it. Haha. <laughs> ha. How many of these activities are we going to be able to take advantage of? Is there a time limit? Okay, so our clock that's normally up here is not there anymore. I don't want to leave. I don't even want to go to the edge because I feel like if I do... Let's just carry around our sword. Balap Karong. What are the rewards? Ooh. Well, we definitely want first place. We could definitely use those and probably these, whatever they are. All right. Um, let's practice. What what do we have to do? Oh, spacebar to jump. On miss is bad. Gotta get my timing back up. All right. 
I, I don't know if 34 seconds is good or bad, but let's let's go ahead and do it. We're either gonna do awesomely. Oh, what? There's rounds. Okay, that's just man. <laughs> let's do it. Wait till we're up. Oops. I can move on as long as I'm not in last place. Man, those guys are really good at it. Goodbye, Walter. Fifth reward. Okay. Can we do that again? Or is it only once? Okay, we can do it again. Um, we won't, you know, spend too much time on this, but I feel like I could do better than that. It also tells me that I'm not likely to get... I only have the energy that I had. I think I need to build up more energy. Just overall in the game. How did my practice be like 30 seconds and my non-practice be less? I didn't get a, uh, uh, another reward, so I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. I'm not interested in the sack race. I'm here for the potluck. I mean, that's fair. Mr. Theo is so good at singing. I want to be like him when I grow up. What do you want to do when you grow up? Yay, Mr. Theo is finally singing a good song. <laughs> good food, good weather, good company. Uh, this is fine by me. I don't crave durian all that bad. As long as Frank here grills enough apples, we are a-okay. Oh, it's the judge. It's always a pleasure to spend my spring here. Well, part of my spring anyway. Have you given diving a try yet? No. You would know that. Roberto, we're finished with preparations for the main event. Talk to the mayor if you're ready. I think... I don't know, I couldn't tell. But I think we were getting some sort of relationship bonus for talk? No, maybe not. Because his... I thought hers was a smiley face, his is just some green lines. The kids aren't even stopping for a break. Looks like I managed to reel them into fishing. What about you? Are you fishing these days? Uh, not yet. I got some fish, so I gave them to Mr. Frank. I hope you can make it like Mr. Jim's smoked salmon. You're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. Did you, are you guys the ones that ditched all that garbage there? I think I'll wrap up some of this tempung, or tumpeng for Dad. Do you think it'll still be good later? Sure. Can we go in here? Uh, no, no, definitely... Don't leave the festival. Can we go through here? Oh yeah. Secret passageway unlocked. Um, a potato. Place item in hot pot. <laughs> Should we put a bug in there? No, let's be nice. Let's put a potato. Boop. 
plup. <laughs> okay. The mayor's over there, so we'll wait to talk to him. Time to absorb the good vibes. Breathe in energy, breathe out stress. Ah. I should have brought little Steven. He would have enjoyed this. Walter was asking me questions about my coffee bean dealer. I'm not telling. I know what he's doing. Ah, the wind, the song, the food. Perfection. Sing along, Roberto. Come on, you know the next part, right? Yep. I'll bring over some Lodan next year. It's this delicious fish with or dish with coconut milk. You'll love it. Okay. More people told me they saw beavers on the lake. Thankfully, Paul brought his camera. If we're lucky, we might get a picture or two. Archie, be careful with the worms. <sighs> there he goes again. The tumpang is over there, dear. I hope it's enough for everybody. Uh, me, me too. Hey, come over here, Roberto. Let's dance. The songs Theo sang really fit the mood. He's not a bad looking, I mean, not a bad singer. You heard nothing. <laughs> right. I better go tell Charles to calm down with the unsolicited doctor <laughs> advice. <laughs> he could ruin the festival for everyone. It's nice to see everyone enjoying the festival. Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure is mine. Shame. Today is a day, re a rest day for me. What? Nothing. My baby brother Frank is your guy for grilling stuff. A lot like Dad. Okay. Cool. Cooking is relaxing, but it's more relaxing to sit back, eat, and look at these cherry blossoms. I agree. They are beautiful. I did say there's way too much food, but I think it's okay once in a while. Oh, because I already... I'm in your spot. Oh, okay. And apparently, once you talk to somebody, you can't talk to them again. Well, interesting. Moving to a small island from Pokyo is an odd choice. And why now? But I suppose everyone has their own reasons. Good luck with everything. So I'm guessing we could talk to him twice because we hadn't met him yet. Which means... Um, let's see. Who was it? Her. Oh, that machine at the pier? Yeah, it's a piece of very old technology. Please wait just a little longer. We're still preparing for the main event. Frank is still accepting contributions for the potluck. How about visiting him? Okay. Well, that's a good way to know... Um, to be able to track who we've spoken to. Mom spent the whole night baking. I'm glad to see her having a good time today. I love the food here. Everything is delicious. Kind of wish I was tasting it for real. <laughs> You're in my spot. Wow. I've not very often had a video game character tell me that I was in their spot and I needed to move. And it's happened to me multiple times in this game. What is going on up here? Wait for it. That. Is that the giant? Well, we're gonna go look and see if we can get up there and talk to him. Wow, the potluck looks amazing. But, oh, never mind. Okay. I think I spend way too much time at my PC. No such thing. My eyes feel kind of crusty. Um, that's because you didn't rub the crusties out. I saw Oliver trying to catch fish at the lake earlier this morning. I think he wanted to contribute to the potluck. So cute. So much good food on the table. Maybe I should calm down with the tumpang and save some space for them. I see you up there. I know you're up there, dude. But I don't think I can get up there. Oh well. Ha! 
I see you. I saw you. Eva's croissant is getting a lot of compliments just for the looks. Maybe I should ask her to add it to the menu. I see you. Yeah, you're just running away from me. Whatever, man. It sure is pretty today. Can't ask for better potluck weather. Can I donate more? Nope. Just the potato. Yeah. Can we get in there? Yes. No. Frank, I want to talk to you, man. Ah ha ha. Hey, how's the festival? There's more to come, don't worry. Uh oh. Okay, we got out of there. I was worried maybe we had glitched into somewhere we shouldn't have been. That would have been a little awkward. Have some of this tumpang and don't skip the veggies. Anything else over here? No. Okay. We'll talk to you last, Mayor, because she said to talk to you to start things. Just like our wine, festivals like this are the identity of Coral Island. Don't you agree? Well, I don't think your wine is the identity of this island because, um... Yeah. It's chill here. It's comforting. Oh, good. Talk to the birdies. Or chase them away. Something like that. One or the other. It's fine. Shop. Home decor. There's only five of those. Sakura Farmer Outfit. We'll grab that on year two. So we're going to have to have a bunch of coral before we come to this. Makes sense. Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad it's all just themed uh, home decor and um, person decor. Uh, clothing. That <laughs> person decor. <laughs> Can we talk to the frog? I'll get back here. Can me and my friends still go to your farm and play in the mud? Sure. I won't stop you. So it's just the mini game here. Oh, I haven't talked to these guys yet. Smells good, right? I gathered dried coconut husk for the grill this morning. We've been grilling with dried coconut husk for generations. Frank's super excited about it. No. Are you saying hi to everybody? You poor thing, it sounds exhausting. I mean... Yeah, but at the same time... It, it builds up relationships, right? We can hope. Oh, I missed you. Listen, Roberto, sometimes getting to know everybody is tiring, but it's worth it. You're part of this community now. Well, right? I should talk to everybody. No rush. With a potluck, it's always the more the merrier. Are you ready for the main event? Great. Take your spot. We'll start soon. Where's my spot? Is this my spot? Probably. Yep. My spot is Poke the Pot. Folks, it's finally time for our main event. The soup is now ready. Big thanks for all of your contributions. Is that bread? Miss Ross, would you do us the honor of the tasting it? Of course. Thank you, Mayor Connor. I should have put a bug in it. She gave us an F. This soup will reflect the unity of the town. Now I feel chastised. It's time to taste what all of you together have made today. It's... okay. I taste nothing special with this soup. Well, as long as it's edible, everyone can consider it a success. Next year I'm putting poison in it just for you, Judge Ross. Oh, D. 
dear. Well, we're not selling anything today, that's for sure. Claim the gift, and next. Have you tried baking? It's a good stress reliever for me, and it might be a good be good for you too. Anyway, here's a mooncake recipe. Thanks, Betty. I've seen you around the island fishing. Here's a recipe for sashimi. You can use any fish. Um, Raphael? Have you been eating the shiitake mushrooms too? Um, is that in our crafting? Nope, I'll bet you it's at some sort of a, a cooking center. Okay. Most heart. Okay, so I think those who are single, their hearts are red, and those who are not, uh, they're tan, yellow, whatever that is. Yeah. Okay, so Kenny and Paul like us the best, and then Alice and Anne, and everybody else after that. Cool. Um, inventory full. You don't say. Mm. Hmm. Yep, let's put this in there. And. put any of this stuff in here, I don't think. I can sell most of it. Well, half of it. Let's just make sure we put away a couple things that we don't need. Such as the extra daisy. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Sell the praying mantis. We can sell the tulips and the flame scallop. We've never sold one of these, so we should do it just to have it done. These, uh, I think we just drew them from here and we didn't put them away. Uh huh. We're bringing these to the all three of these to the uh, offer place at the lake. What time is it? I think we have time, actually. Especially since we can do this. That's such a wonderful feature. So we just need a corrupt. We'll have one tomorrow, probably. Um, also, I noticed some stuff here, too. Oh, okay. Freshwater fish. Alright. Salt water. Rare. Day insect. I've not caught any of these, I don't think. Night insect. I haven't caught any of those either. Ocean critters. And we definitely don't have any of those. Unlocks dig site. Okay, interesting. Can we look at this one? No, we don't understand what it says. Alright. Well... We don't have any additional fast travel locations yet, so to the farm we go. Um, yeah. Okay. I could spend time just kind of going through and... and cleaning up the farm, or we could go to sleep and have a full day ahead of us to do all sorts of stuff. Alright, extra relationship levels with these peoples. Cool. Well, those don't give us that much. I didn't expect them to, though, to be fair. 
All right, weather forecast. Sunny again. All right, let's see if it's a... Uh, nope, that's arc one. Okay. I'm pretty sure that means... Yep. Okay. Well, that's cool. Kind of. Mostly it's cool because we don't have to spend time watching TV today. Greetings, Roberto. We've started a new initiative called Merit Points, a reward system for community involvement. I'd love to explain more in person. Join me at the community center soon. Looking forward to it. Best, Millie. Okay. Greetings, Roberto. I'd like to run an idea by you about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time. Well, that's good, because we're headed there. Uh, but first, we should water what needs watering. And harvest what needs harvesting. And I want that carrot. That goddess has gone and done something to us. She gone and gave us a reward for something, and now I want them all. <laughs> all right, so let's head into town and talk to both Sam and I believe it was Millie. In fact, let's look at the map. Nobody's in there yet. Makes sense. However, Sam is in there. Only it's going to take a minute for him to actually be available. Because he's not open yet. I bought some green smoothies yesterday. Or brought some, but I don't think anyone touched them. Oh well. Oh, I'm sorry. I think those are always worth trying. Sometimes they are really nasty, and sometimes they're actually pretty good, in my opinion. Was that a teleport thing by the museum? Let's see if he wants geodes. He does not. Okay. We'll have to stop by the blacksmith for those. And interact. Unravel the locked passage. Donate splendor yet to be... Okay. Hey there, Peanut. You want to be a cat and follow Peanut around all day? I mean... Sometimes, yeah. That's a ladybug over there. Gotcha. Or a lady beetle. Mm. Oh, that's a... A grave. What's this? Is this supposed to look like that? It looks incomplete. Okay. Well then... I'm assuming that means we can do something to fix it, but... Who knows what. figure it out. Okay, come on. Waiting for it to be nine. There we go. Earth geode. I guess it processes for twenty. We got ten stone. Mystery geode. Amber. Okay. Excellent. Now, really quick, dude. To upgrade tools, I know it needed five. Okay, yeah, and I was right. It is three. And, and 1,500 coins and one day to upgrade. So I'm assuming that means I um, won't have that for a day. Lovely. Oh, apparently we stepped outside all the way over here. Whoa. Have you been sneaking up on me? Oops, haha, <laughs> er, sorry. Haha. 
No, it's okay. It's just so quiet in here. Okay, in here. I guess anything would have shocked me. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard me walking here. Okay, I thought you were Anne. I was supposed to go and get some fresh vegetables at Sam's, but I thought, why not take them from here? Nature, right? It's much closer distance, and let's face it, they all taste the same. Mm, that depends. Oh, thank goodness, it puts me right back there. I thought I was going to have to run all the way back down. Is this a teleporter? One will open the Totem of Legend when catching these buzzing goods. More bugs to be caught. There we go. Ridiculous. And there's the lab which we have yet to visit. Alright, I bet people are now available. Hi Sam! Did you not see me walk in? Roberto, you become quite the regular. This is the third time I visited your store, maybe fourth. Working at the farm, hmm? Or working hard. Yeah, getting used to it. Good, good. I see that you're also getting much use of the shipping bin. Yep. Your shipment is always a huge hit with the townsfolk. Is it? I think we all miss the taste of local produce. Here, let me show you something. This is our import section. Everything on this side is imported. I have to say, it's very expensive to get them here. The shipping costs, taxes, that sort of thing. They add up surprisingly fast. I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin, but it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. And this here is our local section. It's so empty and really sad to look at. <laughs> yes, it is. As soon as I receive your crops, I put them all here, and they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves, as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when my folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stacked top to bottom with local produce. It was something to be proud of. Well, maybe you guys should have kept some farmers, just a thought. But now, I have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but need your help to do it. The task is simple. You will need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted the exact amount on this note. And, of course, I will pay extra for this effort. I think extra coins on top of your usual crop commission when the whole order is filled, hmm? Sure. Seems decent to me. Okay, let's look at this. 50 bronze quality. Fruit and vegetables. Okay, okay. All or nothing. Craft a furnace. Into the ocean. We're probably going to do that one next. After... Great bag. 3,500. Not yet. Alright. Hmm. Potatoes sell for 75. So that's a 50... Um... 50 coral... Profit. Oh my gosh, I cannot words right now. Two, three, four, five, six of them, and I only have five open slots. Unless we do this. Uh, 
and I still miscalculated, so we're gonna sell canola. It can be made into cooking oil, that's cool. All right. Seven left. We've got ten of each. That's going to take us a bit to do, so we're just going to do that. All right. We need to get these planted, which also probably means we're going to do that before we go diving, which means we're probably not going to dive until tomorrow. We'll see. It really depends on how much time planting all this takes. I almost went past the museum with this ember. I'm almost certain he wants it. Oh, and he wants a ladybug. Or lady beetle. Excellent. We got eight potato seeds. I'll take it. That's awesome. Okay, look at this. If... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that map. Alright, maybe if we do this... I'll stand next to you and wave at you. Roberto, come take a look at this. You see this? This is a blueprint for a bigger museum. The one we have now is... It works, but can you imagine something bigger? Something more extravagant? Imagine this. I mean, I kind of feel like we're a little ahead of ourselves. We have one section dedicated to the aquatic creatures of this island. So the fish, I think. Then there's another section where we can look at all the fossils we've dug up. Oh, we can have a bigger and better section for the ancient artifacts. Doesn't that sound exciting? That sounds really cool, isn't it? But there's one big problem, though. Funding? The town just doesn't have the budget to build this museum. At least not yet. So, what if we raise the money to build it? By that I mean I'm going to start a Pickstarter campaign. Hmm. Do you know what a Pickstarter is? I know what it is, I just don't know if you should run one. I don't know, can you explain? Pickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. We put our project online, then people can help fund it. In return, we'll give them something from the project as a token of appreciation. Great idea, right? Anyway, I'm almost ready to launch this campaign, but there are a few things I need help with. Based on my research, the most successful campaigns are those that already have something significant to show. Something to reassure the backers that they're backing a legit project. If I show the empty museum in the campaign, people are going to think this project is a scam or something. Now, my dear, hardworking Roberto, this is where you come in. We're really happy with what you've brought to the museum so far. They're all amazing, but it's not enough. I asked Macy to take pictures of our museum yesterday, and it just looked empty. No one is going to help us if all we show them is an empty museum. But if you were to donate more items... Do you see where I'm going with this? No, 
I have no idea. That's right. The museum won't look so empty, and we can convince more people to help us fund our project. Uh... Now, while you help us gather more artifacts, I'm going to prepare other materials to upload to the campaign page. I'll scan this blueprint, then I'll ask Millie to write something awesome for the campaign. Oh, maybe I should get Lily to make us a website. Look at that, it's all coming together. Now go forth, Roberto. Collect more items so we can launch our Kickstarter campaign. Okay. Alright, 40 more items? We can totally do that. Now if you just expand farther underground, that's probably more doable. I don't know where else we would build this thing. Hey, Millie. Hello there, Roberto. I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, that's what that currency is. We've recently implemented a system in town to make life here even more rewarding. Let me explain. These are called merit points. You can earn them by completing errands posted on the town board right here in town. That's not all. Attending festivals, winning the minigames or main events at them, and even the town's rank increase can also grant you merit points. Okay. For example, you, my blossoming butterfly, have already earned, let's see. Roberto Lionheart, Roberto Lionheart. Ah, there you are. I was gonna say, I must be pretty low on the list. Um, if she had to search that long. You've earned 40 merit points for attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. We introduced this system to encourage everyone to get more involved with the community. Over there at the merit exchange counter, you can exchange the points you've earned for various items. Trust me, it's worth the effort. Wouldn't that be right here, not over there? We're standing right here. So there you have it, Roberto. I'm looking forward to seeing you earn those merit points. Me too. I wonder if I can read this now. Stamina fruit. Eating one of these increases vigor. It's pretty bland, though. So that says quest. Farming elixir, consumable. Ranching elixir, foraging elixir, mining elixir, diving, catching, fishing, combat elixir. Coral hero scarecrow. Gingerbread scarecrow. Walnut Cracker Scarecrow. <laughs> Pino Scarecrow. Okay. Undal Undal Handsome Scarecrow. Undal Undal Pretty Scarecrow. Humpty Scarecrow. Undead Scarecrow. Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein. And Jolly Stock. I mean, if it gives me scarecrows for free, and then later whatever these are, it's worth it. Charlotte Town, Coral Island. Nope. Okay. And now we'll go and uh, do our farming. So on the episodes where there's um, cutscenes and or uh, uh, festivals, they're going to be a little bit longer, just naturally. And if, the say, a festival ends up taking a really long time, I'll probably just have it be one day. This time, the festival really didn't seem to be, you know, taking all that long. So I didn't worry about it. But we need to make some more makeshift scarecrows to plant all this. How much do we have? So, 
Move this over here. Sixty, almost seventy, just shy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen. Actually, don't you? Yeah. Let's make another scarecrow. Oh, actually, I don't think I have to run up there. I'm not used to that. What do we need? Wood. Gotta get some wood. These seeds are just exactly the same ones that I already have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay. Just wanted to make certain of that. Now there is one thing I'm curious about. Let's see. No, oh, yes, journal. Extras. What is... Oh, extras. Okay. So these are just people to flesh out the, the town and stuff? Huh. That's a... What? That's a lot of extras. Cool. Bestiary. Simple slime. Loot list. I'm sorry, what? Slime goop. Slime goop. Monster essence, stone, wood, sap, wild seeds. Okay. Pickling. Silky fur, monster essence, stone, wood, sap, wild seeds. Notes. Oh, hang on. This is where the... Nope, that's not... Pages okay, so this is just our uh, mail and more. No badges okay. Found artifacts. D okay, that's what I wanted to look for. Um, this says offered, these don't say offered. I don't know how many of these. But that says donated at the top. So that should mean... Yep, donated, offered, donated, donated. Okay, excellent. So we've caught one, but not really. I'm pretty sure that was one of the ones we caught while our inventory was full. Still, that is fantastic. Trash cleaned, errands complete, gifts given, distance traveled, total earnings, total spent. We've spent more than we've earned. I guess we must have started off with some um, specials. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, yeah, that was... I wanted to see if it would track for me um, what I had donated. And it appears that yes, yes it will. Let's 
Get all this watered. And then we'll see what we can do about crafting and using fertilizer. Get as much good quality stuff growing as we can. And we'll go into our uh, chest inventory and eat things if we have to, because watering, to refill your watering can. Oh, I guess we ran out. If you don't have a well yet, carpenters can build one for you. I, I, I'm fine right here. Just didn't realize we were empty. Sap and compost. That's only four. How do we get compost? Let's. I saw us get some when we were digging. Used to craft fertilizer. Just mixture of decayed organic material. Okay. Wonder if we can make a compost bin at some point. That would be really cool. Let's take this. We'll at least have. 19 we can use. Can we do it on this? No. Okay. These are probably the ones that give us the most anyway. Carrots were next, the next most expensive. Then, then I don't remember. I think the potatoes were the next quote unquote most expensive. We already did that. Okay, so we need to get 30 more, which means we craft two more of these. Which means we need to chop some more wood. Almost um, decided to be a little worried about running out of garbage, and then I remembered, nah, somebody has thrown tons of garbage onto my farm however long ago and just never cleaned them up after themselves, so we have plenty, and look at that. Because of that, <laughs> we have it just inherently in the soil. Did we ever plant that wild seed? I think that's what that is. It's two coffers from just doing farm work. All right. Let's see. Can't eat any of that stuff. And yes, I did also look at the trash just in case. None of that is edible, but these are. We can eat that. Animal feed. Hmm. Scavengeable. You know what? Worst case, we eat these and we get more. Okay. Uh, 
Oh no, no. Get away from the boxes. Six more. No water remaining. All right, does it cost energy to fill it? Nope. Thank goodness. So we got it all planted. Those go in there. We've donated one of these before, so it can go in there. Okay. Well. about all we can do. We're growing lots of this. Got the bed. Got the bed. Little sleepy head. Little, little sleepy head. Little sleepy head, you go to bed. Okay, well that was uneventful. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. We only went over by about eight minutes, so that's not terrible, um, especially compared to some of the other times. So I'm going to let you go now. Until next time, good luck, have fun, and have a great day.